What's up guys, it's your girl Ty and I'm back with another video. If you're new here, welcome to the channel and thanks for being here. On this channel, we talk about protective styling, hair tips, and just how to grow your hair healthy. So if you are into any of those topics, you should hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you won't miss any more videos, okay? On today, your girl is trying a wash and go. because I was super inspired by Curly Chris and her beautiful definition that she was able to achieve with her wash and go. So we're gonna be giving it around. Plus I have another ingredient that I'm going to be mixing with the gel since my hair is fine and it's more prone to frizziness. So for all my ladies who deal with frizz, stay tuned and let's jump right into this video. So I haven't added any oil to my hair yet, but my hair is moisturized. It's still moist. I have leave-in conditioner in my hair right now. Okay, y'all, so now I'm adding the sweet almond oil to my hair, and I'm basically using this to seal in the moisture that I have added with the leave-in conditioner. And you wanna just make sure that you do this on every occasion. You wanna make sure that you do completely seal your hair in. Um, you know how water and oil does not mix? Well, it's the same with our hair. So as long as you apply your moisturizer, it will not seep out as long as you create a barrier, which is what the oil is for. The water cannot seep out if oil is a barrier. Okay, so I have added all the oil to this side. So now I'm going to take my African Pride gel and my secret ingredient, this liquid pearl serum it was about nine dollars nine it was, well, we'll say ten dollars but that's what i'll be mixing with the gel but before i add it to my hair i gotta make sure that the ingredients go together so this is what this looks like there is pearl abstract in this so that's why it's sparkly i never even knew about pearl abstract so this serum and this gel do work pretty good together. If you look at my definition, these curls are definitely starting to pop. So I'm just going to continue to mix these two ingredients together and apply them section at a time and do like the raking method. So what you see me doing is, is mixing the two products. So this is what you always wanna do when you combine two different products together. You wanna start off mixing them on your palm just to make sure there's no clumps and that it doesn't mix properly because if you have any issues where it doesn't smoothly combine together as a, you know, a nice cream or paste like, you, like I had on my hand, then those products don't work together. And therefore you do not wanna use them together because your hair is not going to perform the way that you want it to. So I am going to speed this part up and then I will be back in just a moment.
What's up guys? It's been 24 hours and my hair is pretty much dry. I do have a little bit of wet spots in there or damp spots, but overall my hair is dry. I caught myself trying to band my hair, but I didn't want to put too much pressure or stress on my strands. So I didn't really band really good. So that's why they look like that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to mist my hair with some water and then I'm going to go over my hair with the sweet almond oil so that we are securing the moisture back into my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray while the bands are on. Oof, spraying in my face here. And the purpose of this is so that uh, my hair is getting the moisture back into it. So when I remove these, I'm not causing any breakage because the hair is, you know, dry. Since we got that done, I'm gonna take my handy dandy diffuser and we're gonna diffuse the hair on cool. No, warm. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some bobby pins, some golden bronze bobby pins, so that they stick out up front instead of getting black ones. I normally have black ones, but you can't never see them. So I'm like, I'm gonna get some colored bobby pins so that I can jazz up my hair a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do on the other side here as well. Or you can keep your silver things in there if you want, but I'm not really a silver person. Mm -hmm. I prefer gold, especially in my hair. So that's why I went and got some bronze bobby pins. But yeah, guys, this is the final look. I gotta say, I'm really loving this wash and go compared to the first one I did. Oh my goodness, my hair was like up here. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 we are not trying this ever, ever again. But this time y'all, I gotta say, that gel is bomb, that gel bomb. And I, won't, I will say that the crunch isn't really bad. It's not bad. As long as you add some oil, some water and oil, you're fine. There's, it's not bad at all. But yeah, guys, be sure to let me know down below what you think of your girl's hair and how you think my wash and go definition turned out. It really helps out the channel. If you did enjoy this content, please smash that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching this video. Yeah, and until next time, your girl is out. Bye.